Alright, and here I am back with the dash assembly. Getting ready to put everything back together. You can see where the, uh, the dashboard was cut out for the ambulance panel board. Which, now that the, the module has been disconnected, most of these switches are pretty useless. They're the sirens, the lights, and everything like that. I'm going to keep the panel in place for the time being, because uh, obviously the dash is cut out. It would look really horrible without that panel in place. But what I've got now is I've got the uh, stereo installation kit, the, the faceplate for the 350, or the mounting bracket for the 350. Anytime you do this kind of work, I suggest you go ahead and get the plugs that automatically adapt to the wiring harness. For the, This is the Ford 91 350. There's actually two of these things. The other one's buried back in there, I think. But in theory, I've already got the... The hole cut out for the uh, rear view monitor, the rear camera monitor. So in theory, after I put everything together, we should be up and running on the dashboard. We'll see how things go. All right, a little black keys in the background. The dash is back together. The stereo is successfully installed. And now let's try the backup camera. Ah, backup camera looks beautiful. All right, so that's uh, one more step in our conversion from an ambulance to an RV. Stay tuned. All right, and now continuation of our, at least the front cabin part of our RV conversion. Um, like I said, the uh, backup monitor is installed, the new CD radio is installed, MP3 player, and now I've just finished installing our cup holders, which is really important. I had to trim off the top of this console with wood in order to get a, an appropriate angle for holding the cups. Got some stainless steel cup holders in there and I've got additional ports for cigarette lighter on either side and USB ports for plugging in our GPS, cell phones, anything else we need. Anyway, it's a work in progress. We're getting there. Stay tuned. Thank you guys.